Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome back for those of you who already follow. And so today I have a painting that I did. It's on an 18 by 24 um, board, right? So it's on a wood board, a brush board. And I show you the prepping in the back of the painting, like as far as the wood itself, as far as with the tape and everything else, flip it over, show you how to prep that um, piece. And then you'll see me go through two paintings, right? The first one I did not like, so I scraped it. And the second one I liked, and then towards the very end where I'm supposed to be blowing it out for you and adding my last color, it gets off, right? But I do show you a picture at the end of the results and I think it is stunning. Um, it just dried and so I'm gonna be adding some resin to it at some point in time, but just not anytime soon though. But I hope you do enjoy the painting. I'm gonna list all the colors that I use and any any other information in the description of the video. Um, so stay tuned and I hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you soon. All right, so here I'm just mixing my base. This is a custom blue that I made. Um, this is my baby. And so it's one of those things that I love to do. And this blue is one of my well, actually, it is my favorite blue to create. And so this is what I'll use for the base. Now, you'll see later, I do scrape the painting, but it's okay. All right, so here is the back of the wooden panel. You see it's been taped with some painter's tape. I have the jumbo push bins um, on the back of this, the push bins I got from Amazon, and the wooden board itself. I got from, um, I believe it was Jerry's Autorama. So you can check those out. I am ready to paint with this. I can't wait to show you the final product. All right, so here I am using Stone Coat Epoxy Undercoat. And I'm only using this on the wood because I know that I'm gonna use resin on it later. And so that's what I prep this with. Now, if I'm using a canvas or something else that I'm my, probably not going to resin, then I just use gesso to um to prep the canvas itself. But for this one, I know that I'm going to be using resin later, and so I did prep it with the undercoat. It allows the resin to stick to it, and you know I get the edges, I get the sides, and therefore when I add a resin to the painting, it's going to look nice and smooth. And I use this pretty often when I do when I use a board. All right, and then so up next, you'll see that that is dried. Um, I think I let this one dry for a few hours because I went out to run errands. So this is my base that I'm pouring on the board. And I'm going to use a palette knife to spread it across. I have a, um, a torch to make sure that I torch all the bubbles because as you saw in the video, like the day I mixed that color, I was like, I'm going to use this right now. So I used it. So there's a lot of air bubbles. And so this is just me spreading it out, making sure I get the sides and everything else. And then later you'll see me adding some colors. Now I will list all the colors in the description below. So this way you'll have that information. Um, but I do want you to see the first painting. I did not like the composition or how things flowed. And I did not see enough of that pink color that I wanted to pop out of the painting. And that's why I scraped it. I think the gold overtook this painting the first time. And then the second time that I do it, you'll see me adding all the colors except for the last color, which is a lighter blue. So again, I will add that in the description below. So you'll have that extra color that you did not get to see, but then you'll see the final results later on at the very end. Enjoy the video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again soon. All right. Thank you. 